Hi, welcome to Track. I'm Amanda Langley. People often ask me what my favorite kind of art is, and I always say drawing, because you can take it with you anywhere. But today we're going to see three artists who are masters with the pencil and pen. What type of utensil do you think Anthony Bruce used in this art piece? Well, I made it kind of easy for you, narrowing it down to pencil or pen. It's pencil. Look at the smooth gradation between the darks and the lights. Do you notice how it has a smooth shadow and it's not just blocks? You can tell this isn't the first time he's using a pencil or the first time he's made art with it. Anthony Bruce hasn't just been an artist, but also a teacher for many years. He Brooks also uses pencil, but this time colored pencil. Let's go in closer to see the techniques that she uses. This piece is called Colorful Conversations. Why do you think that is? Well, both the birds are very colorful and it looks like they're talking to each other. Look at all the different colors and shadings and highlights that he Brooks uses in this art piece. That nest looks like it would be very hard to do. Oh, that's too bright. Let's go in closer. This one actually is kind of hard to see from a distance. You can't tell what's going on until you come up really close. But once you get in close, you can see that this must have taken a long time to create this tangled piece. Brian Rose says this is a very symbolic piece for him. Do you know what symbolic means? It means that those bones and that barbed wire and those tangles don't just mean bones, barbed wire, and tangles. They represent deep regrets in his life and his family's life. If you like to create art, share with us some of your pencil and pen masterpieces, or just doodles. And we'd love to see you Thursday through Saturday, noon to four at track. I'll see you next time.